Just the other day, I made a video where I joked about buying a new Beretta 92 Inox just to get the four magazines it came with because I was looking for some more Beretta magazines. Well, that was obviously a joke. I even did a little joke in there that kind of implied that did I actually buy a new Beretta 92 Inox or was it just my old one being shown twice? Well, it was not my old one being shown twice. As you can see, this is a different one. Here's my old one right here. This is the one I had before. This one is an American-made Beretta Inox 92. This 92 is Italian made. As you can see right there on the slide, made in Itali. So this is Italian. Now this gun is quite a bit older than my other Beretta 92 Inox and it's actually showing. It's not actually in great shape like my other one was. As you can see, the slide has become very polished from going in and out of holsters. Plus it has quite a few little minor surface scratches on it. The sights are all worn, the finishes off of them. It looks like someone was using it in a holster that had some retention because there's that telltale wear mark right there on the front of the trigger guard. On the rear of the gun, the back of the tang right here has had all the anodizing rubbed off. It's polished aluminum now. Uh, this is most likely from someone's clothing rubbing against it while they're carrying it all day. The mag plate on the stainless steel magazine, which is one of the signs this is a true ghost, is all beat to hell. If you've ever carried a gun this size around, you know you beat your mag plate on stuff, on door frames, chair frames, etc. And this one's no exception. It's been beat up pretty bad. The barrel is also very shiny on the top from getting rubbed on as it goes in and out of a holster. There's also some minor scratching on the front of the grip frame, just minor surface scratching. And there's some damage to the grips right there. These Hogue rubber grips looks like that little mark was put there when they damaged this grip, probably from being put into a holster. It just shows the signs of being used quite often, or at least being carried quite often. Although it doesn't appear to be shot very often. I don't know how well you can see in there, but the feed ramp is still in great condition. No nicks or gouges or scratches. The extractor, even though I believe it's the original extractor, is still in great shape. The trigger face still has the original texture to it. It hasn't been rubbed smooth or shiny by someone's finger firing it a lot. And if you look at the controls that you would use when you take it down, there's not a lot of wear on the little takedown lever here. And the face of the release for the takedown lever over here is all dirty. It isn't high polished like a lot of the other parts that get rubbed a lot. If you also look at the front of the grip frame here, it's not highly polished like the trigger guard is, like the back of the grip frame is. That shows it probably wasn't in somebody's hand a lot, it was in their holster a lot. So like I say, this gun looks like it's been carried a lot, but shot a little. Mechanically, it's still in great shape. It's just a little raggedy looking. But to get to the real reason of why I bought this gun, it isn't to get the magazines. It was for two reasons. Like I said before, because it's an actual Italian ghost model, and because it's in such poor shape. Because it's in such poor cosmetic shape, I don't feel bad about altering this gun. If this was in pristine condition, I would not alter one of the Italian ghost models. But since this gun is in such poor condition cosmetically, I have decided one thing I don't have is a proper pimp gun. So I am gonna be turning this gun into a proper pimp gun. And we're going to start by high polishing the slide and the barrel and maybe the controls. I don't know if I should polish the controls or not. Maybe I'll put a little pole up in the corner here, click on that little pole and tell me, do you think I should polish the controls as well? That would be the trigger, the slide release, you know, all those things, the hammer, stuff like that. Should I polish those as well or should I just do the barrel and the slide? Now, once I get all the polishing done, we'll move on a little bit and do some other things. Maybe we'll deal with the grips or the color of the frame next. We'll decide that in the next video. But for now, I'm going to do the polishing. So just keep up with me for the next couple of weeks and keep watch out because there's going to be some more videos as you and I work together. I think we'll have a little bit of fun in transforming this regular beat up old Beretta 92 Inox Ghost into what could be the ultimate pimp gun.